Today we're going to be making our garlic summer sausage kit. This kit comes complete with seasoning, here and the casings. This is enough to make 25 pounds. Today we're just gonna make 15 pounds, nine pounds of beef and six pounds of pork. I like to season the meat before I grind it. So this is the cure and the seasoning. This is a maple cure. So we're gonna put that in there. So again, I'm just working all this seasoning into the product just so you get all the pieces coated. So I pre-season the meat for us because I like to use the grinder to help do the mixing. By doing this, you're getting the grinder and the knife will punch all the seasoning through all the meat. And you don't want to leave your grinder running without meat going through it. It does heat up the plate and dull it pretty quick, so that's why I like to shut it off in between my fills. And it's important that when you're filling the grinder, obviously we do have a, a pushing tool, but I try not to use it. I let the grinder do the work. It's working at its own pace. There's no reason to force it because that forcing will also cause you to get smearing. So we got a really nice looking grind here. And now this is ready to uh, go through the next grind with an 8th inch plate or a 316 will be the one that we're going to use next. Okay, so we're back doing our summer sausage. We have changed our plate out. We took out the 3 8 put in the 3 16 Just do little feeds at a time, not trying to break any records here, let the grinder do the work. If it's not grinding correctly, you don't have your plates and knives on correct. And we're trying to keep this meat as cold as we can. I've actually put it in the refrigerator while I was cleaning out even in the freezer while we changed plates just to keep that little extra coldness to it. So this step is very important, obviously. We want to get a good, uh, good mix. We want to extract that protein and get to a nice tacky meat block. That's what we want to start seeing. That meat sticking to my hand and just dropping off. We're getting good protein extraction here. We're going to have a really nice summer sausage. That is good to go. Okay, we have filled our suffer with the summer sausage meat. Uh, we got all 15 pounds in there. We were careful that when we filled it, we pushed it down, tried to get as much air out as you can. That helps keep air out of the summer sausage. Uh, we also have the casings. I've soaked these for about an hour now. Just lukewarm water. We're going to take our casing, just wring it through our hand, get as much water out of it as you can. You want to keep your hand tight, but not that the casing can't slide through. And then you just start cranking. You want to get as full as you can, but you don't want that casing to burst. So that's how you keep the air pockets out. Important thing with this is when you get to about two inches left at the end, you want to back off on your stuffer. That'll take the pressure off and you want the meat won't keep coming out. So this one is good. And then all you're doing is taking and turning it. Have your assistant tie. And then I just like to trim off the ends a little bit. And there we have a summer sausage ready to go in the smokehouse. And now we're loading the smokehouse. You want to make sure they're not touching. Um, you want to have good airflow in the house. And we're going to add our sawdust pan. Well, three quarter pan full of sawdust that we've moistened, um, created a little kind of funnel to let it burn from the center out to the ends. Okay, so we're at the finished stage of our summer sausage. We've gone through the grinding, the stuffing, the smoking. We gave it an ice cold bath, got a temperature of 155 degrees, and we let it sit room temperature for a while, then in the refrigerator to cool down. We got good, good particle definition. We're looking at good uh, fat to lean ratio. Fantastic. This would be great with your venison sausage, your beef, or any other wild game you want to use. Thank you.